Thank you very much for attending this new conference. Good afternoon. I'm going to start and uh, explaining to you how my company, ST Microelectronics, can help you to bring innovation in home. First of all, do you know we are on an embedded world now? We talk about 32 bits, we, have, we talk about digital, but we are all analog, you and me. We, our sensing is ear, taste, smell, touch, feel, see. So what is crucial to bring innovation is to bring innovation with sensors is one of my topics today. You see that uh, sensors are old, okay? Exist for a long time already. And each new progress in the sensing, they bring new application, new technologies, new market. Talk, listen, gesture recognition, speech recognition. Speech recognition is one of the topics I will tell you today. What is important as well for us in ST is to help the startups, the small companies, to go to the market. They have an idea, they want to go to the market very fast, and we want to help them to innovate, to go very fast to this market. For device prototyping, for the software, we bring all the bricks, okay, building blocks, and then we give the technical support to go there. I don't know if you heard about uh, the Nucleo, uh, Nucleo boards. It's a very small and cheap MEMCU boards. We also provide expansion boards for sensors, for RF, for communication, motor drivers, NFC, and then you build your blocks, hardware blocks, and we provide also some software. This is some details about the hardware blocks we have today, and uh, we will have much more this year. We will release a lot. Okay, STM32 Open Development Environment is not only hardware, it's also software. But it's concerning hardware, it's Nucleo little boards, white boards, as you see, the white one here. Then you have uh, Bluetooth Low Energy here, sensors, but also available NFC, motor control, and uh, flight sense for uh, proximity sensing. In terms of software, we provide, of course, the very low, low layer uh, software, abstraction layer. This is provided by our tool, which is called uh, STM32 Cube on which you can generate the initialization of the, of the microcontroller. Then, even for application, we bring some additional bricks, like um, board support package, middleware libraries like sensor fusion, which is a very high difficulty to, high difficult uh, board to make, um, software to make. We bring it to you free of charge and also the, some examples of software. So if you want to build an e-compass, okay, electronic compass, then we bring to you the software example, the sensor fusion to fu fusion the accelerometer, gyroscope, magnetometer together, data compensating the, the, the drift of the sensor, and also giving you all the data necessary for your application. What is interesting is uh, also to go further in uh, home automation. Okay, doesn't, doesn't work anymore, sorry. Okay, home automation. So for each application of home automation, we have uh, the sensors, we have the processors, uh, we have the power management, when we have the RF link. So you can have different applications, but we always have the box and the software.
Okay. So these are the products that we have in ST to process, to sense, to connect, and to power the applications uh, with some examples. So in, a, in the field of connectivity, we propose Wi-Fi module, Bluetooth modules, Bluetooth low energy ICs, and uh, sub gigahertz ICs, and also NFC. For power management, we propose energy harvesting, and we have a demo here on the booth of a battery-less pedometer. So it's a pedometer that works without a battery. The, just the shock like this of the shoe on the floor gives enough energy to send a step to the smartphone, for example. We propose energy harvesting for photovoltaic, thermoelectric generator as well. In terms of sensors, we have accelerometers, gyroscopes, humidity, pressure, UV, a lot of sensors. In home automation, the key enablers of this market are clearly power saving, is one very important nice, uh, item, also with comfort, okay, better comfort, better power saving. Wireless connectivity is very important to deploy this easily in the house. Security is really important not to be uh, hacked, you know, hacking by the neighbors, by whoever. Touch screen is important as well. Touch screen requires good eyes and clean, clean hands. And it needs now to be completed, complemented with uh, natural language, speech recognition. It's more convenient. And speech recognition is coming now. It's uh, already very popular in uh, uh, consumer electronics, in uh, smartphones. Uh, a lot of TV propose now the, 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 uh, the speech recognition. Just to give you a little history, 47 years ago, Stanley Kubrick in uh, Space Odyssey was proposing uh, and surprising everybody, all the fans, uh, with this ship that we could command with the, with the voice, okay? There was natural language with the, with the spaceships. Now, the technology, the brick, are available for you to develop such possibility. So, excuse me, back one slide. So there are two ways uh, of uh, doing speech recognition. Either it is connected to the, to the website, to the cloud, and then uh, you get uh, speech recognition on the cloud, unlimited vocabulary, unlimited language, so it could be English, Spanish, whatever. But, but you need a high-speed connection. Another way is to do it locally, okay? What you see on consumer electronic more and more is to have the microphone on the remote control, Bluetooth low energy link, speak to your, to your remote control to get uh, internet browsing, YouTube video, daily motion, whatever. So this is coming in consumer electronic. And if you do co connected objects, smart watch or bracelet or whatever, you can imagine to have a microphone and uh, speak your command to the, to the object. But this is very short distance. In this case, you need only one microphone, low power microcontroller, Bluetooth smart, and uh, uh, power management IC. Is Bluetooth smart suitable for audio? Bluetooth low energy? You don't think so, huh? It's not suitable at all. But we have a demo here. We show that it's possible, and it's good. What we do is, uh, it's just a voice command. It's not high uh, hi-fi audio, it's not audio streaming. And we demonstrate that we can transfer some voice command with 10 millisecond latency and very high quality, uh, enough to be recognized. So 64 kb kb per second, ADPCM encoding. 
we provide the software bricks for that as well. So if you want to go and develop such application, we have all the bricks for hardware and the software free of charge for you. There is a license, of course. Any question about that? Hmm? So this is the way we do for short distance voice command. We have good quality, 10 millisecond latency, 64 kbit per second. On the transmitter, we do connectivity to the microphone, OK? Compression, cut into 20 bytes, and send by Bluetooth low energy with very low consumption. For longer distance, this is uh, what happens in the movie. Huh? You speak, and the mic microphone is not here. For longer distance, then it becomes more complex because there's a lot of noise, surrounding noise. So how to do? We propose some, some software that does sound localization. So is, uh, the microphone is able to, to localize you in the room and then to focus the attention of the microphone on you, okay, when you speak. So removing the surrounding noise. So the hardware, hardware bricks we propose is a men's microphone, but then you need four men's microphones to perform this localization and beam forming. Higher performance micro, uh, microcontroller, speaker amplifier, why not? And connectivity. For software, we propose the mic microphone driver, sound localization software, free of charge, microphone zooming or beam forming, and noise cancellation. Again, it's software. We don't sell software, we sell hardware, we sell components. So this is how the long distance voice commands work. First of all, sound localization, then beam forming, change the cardioid by software, then remove the ambient noise, and finally, recognize the, the speech, okay? So for recognizing the speech, you can do it also locally on the STM32 microcontroller. It's possible. You don't need high-speed internet connection. But in this case, it's much more constraints, like uh, limited vocabulary, only one language, okay? So it's okay for espresso machine, for example. Uh, you say uh, ristretto, uh, longo, uh, I don't know, uh, espresso. Three words, one language. This is okay for speech recognition locally on the microcontroller. For this, we don't have our own software. So you have to deal with uh, external company, external uh, partners, who, we are, who are going to sell this speech recognition software to you. But we facilitate all this uh, by providing all the other software bricks free of charge. Okay, so the two kinds of... Oops, sorry. I missed my conclusion. So this is the end of the, uh, of the session. I would like to wrap up with these key messages. ST offers all the bricks for you to develop innovative speech recognition and other uh, wireless sensor uh, application for home automation. We have low power security, we have a high performance Cortex-M MCU, we have sensors, analog, power management, actuators, and we have wireless transceivers and modules. All the hardware bricks. But also we bring some added value because we have all these bricks we also develop the software, I bring it to you free of charge for you to go faster to the market. And the time to market is margin for you. We understand that and we want to help you for that. Fast, to mark, uh, fast time to market is also done by our easy prototyping boards, okay, nuclear boards, expansion boards, together with uh, our algorithm and expertise. 
I thank you very much for listening to me. I hope it was interesting for you. If you want to, to know more about that, please meet me on the demo, on the booth. I will show you everything about audio, sensors, analog, RF, that goes around the microcontroller. Thank you very much.